hello viewer in this video i will show you how to cut a full flare booboo first thing i did was i folded my fabric into four to cut my front and back and then next thing measure your dress length so i'm measuring my dress length from the hem to the shoulder so from the same center front i will measure the same length on the side seam of the dress and i will measure it all through the hem of the dress so that the side seam line will not be longer than the center front so next up i will mark the shoulder for this i will divide my back shoulder measurements into two and then i will add half inch for seam allowance after the additional half inch on the shoulder i would begin to curve out my shoulder to the sleeve side like you would do in capes so i'm curving it down curving it down slightly slanting out and then from there i would begin to mark my side seam from the a line on the hem right to the curve line that i did descending from the shoulder to have my full side seam please pardon my chalk for not showing well by the time i cut out this bodies you would see the shape well and understand how i got here so now i will notch my armhole opening i'm going down from one inch after my shoulder curve and then i'll mark eight inches for my armhole opening if it is too small later i can increase it or if it is too wide i can just close it up a little bit more i will proceed to cut my full bodies now And also on the hem now this is how my full bodies look like now I will proceed to mark the neckline for this booboo I will be using two and a half inches width on the neck and also two and a half inches depth for the front bodies I am using this two and a half by two and a half because I want to have a Chinese collar on my booboo so I don't want the neck to be so wide so now I will just notch my neck width and open up the front to cut just one inch depth for my back neck. So I'm going to cut out the back neck. Then now cut out the front neck. For the head to pass through the dress, the two and a half neck depths will not be enough. So for this booboo, I want to have an oval shape opening down the neckline of the dress. So I'm marking that now. Now I'm cutting the oval shape neckline. And then this is how the neck looks on the front. And then that is how it looks on the back, one inch depth. So now I want to notch open the armhole area to know where to stop on the machine when i'm sewing now i will join the side seam so after joining this is what we have as you can see it is looking very flowing even though we did not cut it as a full flared dress and this is how the neck looks like the finishing of my neck i will measure what i have on my oval shape opening still folding my front bodies into two and then I will cut double of that as a bias piece that I'm going to use to tape the neck for finishing. You can cut from one and a half inches to one three quarter inches for your bias tape. And then next I will go to the dress form to mark out my collar. Now I place the paper on the neckline and then pin it down on the dress form. Then I'm going to lay the neck of my dress on it. And then from the center front, I will begin to sketch a Chinese collar. To do this, you can use your own desired collar height. But I don't want mine to be so high. So I will sketch to the center back to have half of my full collar. And then I will do the same on the neckline of the dress. All the way to the center back as well. This is what I have for my collar. Then I will just go and place this on my fabric, then cut on fold times two. So now I have my bias piece to tape my oval shape 
fold your bias tip into two and then place it from the wrong side of the neck and then you can just sew it by say a quarter and then while sewing make sure you are not pulling the bias tape and neither are you pulling the neck of the dress itself so that it can lay well after sewing after sewing this is what i have on the oval shape of the neck so i'm just going to turn my bias from inside out to tape down but before that i will put a loop for button on the upper part of my oval shape leaving a quarter of an inch on the upper part of the neck so that i can attach my collar to that part so after that quarter i will insert my loop in the neck and sew it down to pop out of the oval shape now i am securing the loop in between the bias tape and the oval opening of the neck trim out the loop excess if you have any and then now i'm going to tape down my bias on the right side of the front bodies it is important to notch the curved part of the bias taping so that my neck can lay very well on the body after taping down the oval neck opening this is what i have very nice and clean so next up is my collar sewing i will place my collar pieces together making sure the right side of one is against the other and then on the base i will fold one on top of the other by a quarter or you can use half inch if you add enough allowance so i'm folding the hem of one collar against the other laid flat and then i'm going to sew from one side to the other side of the collar and on the other side i am also folding a quarter inch of one collar against the other and then finish up after that i'm going to notch the sewing of my neck and then i will turn my collar out then proceed to iron it so that i can have a flat press after ironing the collar this is what it looks like nice and flat so now i will proceed to attach it to the neck of the dress so to make the sewing of my collar easy and flawless i'm going to align the center of the collar with the center of my back neck so i'm going to sew from that point to one side of the front first please note that i am sewing on the part of the collar that i did not fold the one that i left open that's the part i am attaching to the neck of the bodies from inside out from the wrong side after sewing this is what my neck looks like so i am going to begin now from the other front side and then sew to the middle where i began the other one in case you are a beginner you can use your pins to hold your pieces together to hold your collar and your neck together so you won't have problems while sewing it so i'm just going to sew all the way down to the middle so now i will tape down my collar on the folded parts where i ironed earlier i will sew it down on the right side of the dress again to make that easy for you you can use your office pins to secure your collar down to the neck so i'm just going to sew all the way through to the other side of the front making sure that the neck is well secured inside of the collar and done so this is what we have after attaching the collar 
can see how beautiful that is and i'm just going to put a button to fasten the neck so now to the hem of the dress i'm going to fold the hem by a quarter twice and i will fold it like that all the way through the hem of the dress then boom the hem is done and now to the armhole opening area i will turn into the wrong side of the dress and fold that part twice too and then i'm going to sew it down from one side to the other and i'm just going to sew all the way around like that and also repeat the same process on the second side of the armhole boom armhole is done nice and neat so this is the result of the dress this is the final outcome as you can see i fastened the neck already and this is how it looks on the back laying very nice and firm and that will be all for the flared boo boo thank you very much for sticking with me on this tutorial i hope you try this method and it works for you if you have any questions for me i will be in the comment section remember to subscribe to my channel and turn on post notification thank you very much for being here till i see you again next time bye